Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, decided to do another video here for you. A little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, I've had a couple people on Instagram kind of ask me how I take my pictures, what I use, so I decided what better way to come back to YouTube than to do a kind of a how-to or walkthrough on how I take my photos. Now as a little disclaimer, I'm not saying that this is the only way to take these photos. I'm not claiming myself to be professional. Uh, this is just how I do it and um, what works for me. So you can see my setup, I'm gonna step back here, isn't the most professional. A lot of people have these light boxes which uh, I don't have and I didn't wanna pay for so I kind of made some lights up myself that I use for my portraits. I have two of these lights. Uh, you can see it's just one of those priority mailboxes that I cut and put a floodlight, which is daylight balance. Same thing for this uh, floodlight, daylight balance, but this has a tough grate on there to kind of help uh, diffuse the light and direct it down straight. Uh, I have one micro beam LED light here, uh, which is just it's there to blow out the background so we got a nice clean white background and uh, my backdrop nothing fancy it's just one of those uh, science projects cut out that section into three and you can see here a bunch of cardboard boxes to hold everything up so it's closer to the light um, kind of just developed this system out of the blue uh, just moved into a new place you can see it's just the garage here so just kind of using the existing things and I'll refine it and tweak it as we go. Uh, the main part is going to be the camera, which I am using a Canon 5D Mark III. And the lens, since we're gonna be doing close-up shots and macros, uh, is a 100 millimeter 2.8 uh, macro lens, which is the main lens I use whenever I'm doing close-up shots. I uh, use the 70 to 200 when I'm outside, uh, more fancy shots, but this one, since we're going to be getting close, uh, looking at all the detail, uh, I wanted to get that macro in. Uh, this is probably the perfect lens for that. So the knife that we're going to be looking at was, uh, was sent to me uh, to play around with by Ryan, uh, goes by M Mr. Clark on Instagram. And it is a uh, Andre Thorburn 51. I always keep one of these because I just spat on the knife. But definitely a beautiful knife. Smoothest, one of the smoothest knives I've played with. All right, without further ado, um, what I kind of like to do is I kind of like to start wide and I kind of punch in and then if I wanted to do like specialty lighting or anything like that I'll do that at the very end uh, but this is basically the lighting setup we've got uh, the key light over here and this is just to help give a little bit more light and like I said before this micro beam is specifically set up just to blow out the background there uh, so what we're gonna do we're just going to position that, turn our camera on, pull this back a little bit. Um, whenever I do these shoots, I always shoot with a tripod uh, just because it helps keep the, uh, the camera steady and make sure that it's not blurry. So what we're going to do first is turn on live preview and everything's blown out because that's what you want it to be. So right now, I'm gonna frame this up. I just wanna get somewhat on the same level here. Just gonna manual focus this. There she is. So as far as the settings here, let me turn on the info. Hopefully you can see that. Um, 
like I said, we really want to blow out the background. The thing is with these cardboard, it's corrugated, so you can see some of the lines. So if we just bump this down, uh, it goes all the way to 2.8, but we're going to go to 3.5, so it's a little bit sharper. And move this over. Now you can see on the image that it is still a uh, little blown out, overexposed. So what we're going to do is bring shutter speed down. It's good. And very important here is we want to zoom in to what we want to be in focus. I'm just going to zoom in to that pivot. Looks about right. Looks good. Let's just take one shot. And you'll notice that I actually had a uh, two second delay on that. And that just helps just because every little move, uh, me pushing the shutter button can cause vibrations and can cause the image to be uh, out of focus. So when I push that, waits two seconds, the camera uh, gets nice and steady and we're able to take the picture and it's nice and sharp. I'm actually going to pull back. Here's a little trick uh, for the people on Instagram. Uh, since Instagram is square and we want to make sure we get the left and right side, we're actually going to take the camera and make it vertical. Up, push in a little bit. See, by doing that, I know that this is going to fit on Instagram, and that is where most of my pictures end up, so that's okay. Okay. Zoom back in on the knife here. We're gonna go to the pivot. Nice and sharp. Bring this back there. Double check. Cool. And I'm also, one thing I'm doing is shooting everything in raw. That way when I take it into post-production, I'm able to, uh, I'm able to boost up the exposure or bring it down, change the white balance, just have a lot more control. So shooting everything in raw definitely helps. So we got one of those, we got a profile, which is nice. One more for safety. So what we're going to do here, now the thing is with this knife is that it's so freaking smooth that it's hard to get the blade to stay in place without it dropping. It's kind of nice. And you'll see, um, if you look closely here, you can kind of see the, the hand rub finish. It's a little bit darker because everything back here is dark and it's just reflecting off of that. So let's get close. I want to focus on the maker's mark here. There we go. Andre Thorburn. Thorburn. All right. Good, let's review that. Doop. Looks good. So let's do one. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You just saw that drop there. Let's do one where stand it up. Sometimes with this corrugated surface, you just gotta find 
in the right place. Oof. It's a little too sexy. Mm. It's okay. It's not bad. I feel I need to push this in. So there's just a lot of tweaking to do. You can see it's a little too dark and you're seeing some of the shadows. So what we're gonna do here Now you gotta remember that not all of these pictures will make it, make the cut. I usually take a couple and if I get some, at least a couple to post and blow up your guys' feeds with, then I'd be happy. It's a little bit better of an angle there. One thing I didn't check earlier, it looks focused, but when you get it into the camera or the computer, you wanna make sure it's dead on. Perfect. It's kind of a cool angle. Um, the main thing to look out for when you're shooting white backgrounds too, uh, is you don't want it to be completely white. You wanna have up some shadows. So there's some shadows from the blade and some shadows from the handle there because if it's just completely white kind of looks like it's floating in space or you just cut it out and photoshopped it so you want to add a little bit of shadows in there just to say hey it's on a surface so add there we go and so you'll notice here one of the tricks since the the room is so light i brought the camera up to give us more uh of the blade uh, more white in the blade so you can kind of see that. Mm. Kind of looks cool, I think. That's cool. Alright, so we've gotten uh, the profile, blades open, blades standing up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to punch in for some of the details here. Because there is a lot. One of the first ones I want to do is uh, the, these liners. These crazy liners that he sculpted. So we're gonna play a little bit of a tripod, tripod scissoring. Uh, it's bad. Get pretty close to this. And the tripod I'm using, by the way, is a Manfrotto 190CX3. It's great all around, it's super light, it's carbon fiber, um, which makes for carrying it super easy. Now what we're gonna do, get a little closer here. We're gonna hang it there. We're gonna do a little bit of a Dutch shot. Um, basically what I'm going for is uh, I'm trying to create this angle right here diagonally so I can get more of the blade in there. I'm going to pull back because it's going to be square. Lock this in the place real quick. My neighbors are so late, so that's cool. Lock that down, and what we're going to do. Gonna angle it a little more. Basically, what I'm looking for here um, is a uh, we're gonna try to focus on the pivot here, or not the pivot, but the flipper. And since it's at an angle, we should get some of the detail here in focus on the same focus plane, also. So, let's 
Let's see if we can do that. Down a little bit more. Just notice that it's a little bit higher than I'd like, but so focus on here. So out. Here you'll notice that this plane, so we get a little bit of the detail work there and some of the colors, the anodizing. Looking good, looking good. There you go. Take one more. Basically what I did there was I um, closed down the aperture just so that we can see a little bit more in focus. Turned out pretty nice, we get to see a little bit more detail there. So now, let's take a look at that pivot. I'm gonna drop the camera down. The beauty of the ball head here whatever angle you want. Now this one, since we're doing some detailed stuff, uh, I'm actually gonna keep it fairly weighted to the left because I can always crop this out and change up or move it over and just make that white. So we're going to zoom in on the pivot, that's what we're looking at. Go. It's good, but I'd like to open this up more. Thing is with photography, it's just a lot of tweaks here and there. Mm -hmm. Getting text messages. All right. Go back to what we're seeing. Perfect. All right, so one thing I do always like to get is the maker's mark. It's got some fingerprints on there, so I'm just gonna use our microfiber. Close down. This was a kind of a cool angle earlier. We're just basically punching it. Oh, look at that. It's already almost done for us. Just gonna get way closer. Mark somewhere is there. Hmm. All too close. I want to see the maker's mark, but I also want to see some elements of the knife. There we go. So, actually, let's get all up in that maker's mark. There we go. See a little bit of pivot there. bump up my ISO just because I can. It's the beauty of the 5D Mark III is that 
does not matter. Well, it doesn't matter to an extent. There we go. Could be representing South Africa with that shot. All right, so that's so freaking crazy. This is the uh, first carbon fiber pocket clip I've ever had a chance to play with. So we're gonna highlight that too, because it's awesome. that a lot of it's out of focus because of the macro lens and that we're freaking 12 inches away from the camera so we're going to stop down 6.3 I want to focus on those holes dim holes Let's see how it turns out Check. Just playing around till we get something nice here. Now, one thing I want to get to. actually really cool but this one more in focus still kind of blow it out And that's why it's important to have one of these uh, tripods is just that if I were to handhold this shooting at 1 25th of a second so that I can have it at f8 it would be shaky it would be blurry uh, you would not be able to see any detail same focal plane. Sorry if I'm not talking, I usually do this by myself. 
one in the morning. Perfect. All right. I think that is uh, all the time we have for this particular one. Um, I'm going to take a couple more later on, later in the day, uh, outside, and also what I call the sexy black and white photos because that's what I've been trying to change it up to just to make it a little more interesting. Um, but yeah, let's do one more review of the photos that we took tonight. Let's see here. Yeah, so we got the detail. So you can see as we went, kind of start, like I said, I start off wide and kind of jump in there. So we got a couple of different detailed shots, which we'll have a lot to choose from. So yeah, that's uh, basically a quick crash course on how I do my photos. Good night guys, thanks again. It's good to be back. Thanks for sticking with me and uh, stay tuned. If you guys uh, want other tutorial videos on other shots, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, uh, Nest for Knives, same thing as my YouTube. Have a nice day guys, thanks.